perhaps you've learned the mnemonic device FOIL as a method to memorize how to multiply two sums. The F stands for multiplying the first, the O is for the outside, the I is for the inside, and the L is for the last. So that if you multiply A plus B times C plus D, you end up with A times C plus A times D plus B times C plus B times D. One problem with the term FOIL is that it doesn't help you when you have to do products like A plus B multiplied by X plus Y plus Z. How do we figure this out? Or what if we have A plus B plus C multiplied by X plus Y plus C? What is this? FOIL doesn't help us. If we understand where FOIL comes from, we can extend it to other situations. One way to extend the FOIL process is to investigate the distributive property algebraically. But instead, let's look at the area model. To compute a plus b times c plus d, we are computing the area of an a plus b by c plus d rectangle, as pictured here. On the other hand, we can compute the area of this rectangle by dividing the side lengths into their corresponding pieces. So we can split the width into segments of length a and b, and we can split the length into segments of length c and d. Therefore, we have four regions. The top left rectangle has an area of a times c, the top right rectangle has an area of A times D, the bottom left rectangle has an area of B times C, and the bottom right rectangle has an area of B times D. Therefore, the area that we're looking for is the sum of these four numbers, A times C plus B times C plus A times D plus B times D. So the expression that FOIL is supposed to help us remember falls out automatically from this geometric area model. Perhaps you now see how to extend FOIL. Suppose we want to compute the product of the numbers a plus b and x plus y plus z. We can interpret this product as the area of a rectangle that has dimensions a plus b and x plus y plus z, so that we have the area here. On the other hand, we can again divide up the side lengths of this rectangle. The width can be divided into side lengths of a and b, and the length can be divided into three segments where the lengths are x, y, and z respectively. This breaks the rectangle into six smaller rectangles. The areas of these rectangles can be computed as a times x, a times y, and a times z, and the next three have areas b times x, b times y, and b times z. Therefore, the area that we're looking for is the sum of these six numbers, and we see that we do not need FOIL to find this product, as it wouldn't work anyway, but we can find this product using the area model. So the quantity a plus b multiplied by x plus y plus z results in the sum ax plus ay plus az plus bx plus by plus bz, as pictured here. Now it's your turn. Can you figure out the product of a plus b plus c and x plus y plus z using the area model? Here's a hint for you. You want to compute the area of this rectangle, which is an a plus b plus c by x plus y plus z rectangle. The first way is to just multiply the two numbers. One shortcoming of the area model is that it implicitly assumes that all of the numbers involved are positive. Can you adapt the model so that it makes sense with negative numbers as well?